Hey, how's it going, guys? Listen, I'm here, even while I'm on vacation for you guys, even while I'm on vacation. Listen, um, I just wanted to say, first of all, uh, thanks for everybody who has supported my channel and that helps out in the comments, um, that has hate made this family, the family and unit that they, they have made it. Um, again, I just wanted to say thanks. I appreciate you. Um, today's video is about makeup sex with a narc. Oh boy. Yeah. How about that, right? So, makeup sex with a narc. Ladies and gentlemen, this is always a bad idea. It's always a bad idea. It's always a bad idea because if you're having makeup sex, that means that at some point you got to a place where you were out and you have said, I've had enough. I'm done with it. Keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. And somehow you allowed yourself to take this person back into your life in an intimate capacity. And, you know, when you do that, it is just the worst case scenario because you've, you've already convinced, you've already proven to yourself that you do not need this person, number one. Number two, you've made it through the hardest part of the process, which is the initial breakup. You've already made it through that. And yet, you go back. And I know how that is. It's, it's hard. It's, you know, it takes a lot to get to a place where, you know, it takes a lot to get to a place where it's like, hey, you know what? I, I want this person back. And it just takes a lot to not deal with the person again. It does. It takes a lot to not deal with the person again. So... And I'm saying, I know that. I know that just based on the fact that I've gone through it myself. I know how that is. You always have, you have those feelings. You know, you're feeling like you missed the person. And then you feel like you're missing something. You're missing that relationship and they're gonna go give their best. You, it, it makes you feel like they're gonna go to the next person and give their absolute best to that person. And you won't be able to have enjoyed their best and not thinking to yourself that you've already had their best their best is nothing but hopes and dreams the best that you could have possibly with a narcissist is just hopes and dreams that they are not who they truly are who they have shown you that they are who they live like every day who they are not going to change from the most you can do about a situation like that is hope and dream that this isn't who they are. Like, please, there's nah, no way that I was this wrong about this. But the, the, matter, the, the fact of the matter is simply that you were wrong. If you think that this person is gonna wake up one day and turn into your dream, they're gonna be everything that you've ever wanted. Because they said it, you know, they've told you things. People lie. And a lot of times, y'all, when people lie to us, we want to believe that it's true. We want to believe that it's real. We want to believe that, you know, things are going to be, you know, a certain way. We want to believe that they're, they're telling the truth. And the fact of the matter is just that they're not. They're not telling the truth. They're, they're lying. Because the thing is this. All they have to do is show you. If, if you guys really love each other and care about each other, all they have to do is show it. It's just that simple. They don't have to keep saying it and all that. Say it with your actions, you know. But again, when you engage, re-engage with that person to go back into an entanglement, you've got to know it's not going to end well. You know, you've just got all of your feelings put back right back into the same place where you were pulling them out of. You were pulling yourself out of that hole you saw what was going on and you got and you got away from it even if they discarded you you still got away from it you know and listen at the end of the day life is about loving yourself again 
the most important relationship that you have in this world is the relationship that you have with self. When you get onto that path, and, and see, once you broke up with the narc, that was the first thing that came to your mind. I gotta get my relationship with me tighter. I gotta make my relationship with me better. That's what it's all about. It's all about making life better with you, for you. Listen, you're gonna be out here, you're gonna meet different personalities, different people all the time. Everybody that you meet is gonna be different. It's, gonna, it's always gonna be something different. But at the end of the day, people, as long as you're balanced and have a loving relationship with yourself, and all of the other stuff is going to pass. It, it, at some point, it will pass. Yes, it, you're going to have pain. Yes, you're going to go through, you know, insecurities and stuff like that. Everybody does that. Don't ever look at yourself like, you know, like, dang, what's wrong with me? What did I do? Listen, everybody goes through craziness in their life, but it's all on how you handled it. How did you handle it when it came to you? What did you do? You know, were you able to, you know, put a situation in place and be able to just get through, get beyond it? And, you know, it, the way you walk out of the situation determines where you're going to be in your next relationship. Were you able to say, you know what, I'm going to still hold my integrity all the way to the end? Or did you get into a, let the narcissist turn you into one of them? Listen, when you have makeup sex with a narcissist, that's what you're looking at. You're re-engaging. And they're going to, if the longer you stay around them, the more opportunities they have to make you like them. They're going to make you vindictive. You're going to want to get back. You're going to want to pay them back for the things that they have done to you, for wasting your time, for taking your money, for lying, cheating, stealing, everything that they're doing. You're going to want to make them pay for that. You're going to want revenge. And the best revenge for people like that is just cutting them off. Yeah, it was inconvenience. It was inconvenient for you at times and this and that. But at the end of the day, it could have always been been worse it could have been worse it could have been a situation where you know it could have been a situation where you lost more than you lost you lost more than some time you know the best even though i know we hate to lose money everybody hates to lose money but sometimes it's better to lose i'd rather lose some money than time because see time you can't get back i can go make money again i can't get that time back so at the end of the day you know, I promise you, money comes and goes. It's, and you're going to always make money. We live in a world that's so superficial. Everybody thinks it's every, everything is all about money. And it's not. Man, your time, your life, the way you, your lifestyle, the way you treat yourself. Listen, I'm telling y'all this as I'm on vacation here, enjoying myself on this beautiful island. And I'm saying this, you know, sometimes you got to love yourself in a way where you can do things to, that you enjoy. Live your life in a way where you do things that you can enjoy. Not for everybody, just everybody else. You know, people are gonna use you and stuff like that. Okay, okay, I get it. I've been there. It happens. Don't use yourself. Put yourself in a place where, you know, your, your time is golden. Your life is golden. Treat yourself accordingly. Nothing in the world like loving on you, man. Nothing in the world like loving on you. Change your relationship with yourself. You making, having makeup sex with a narc, it's only gonna pull you back into something and engage in things that are not good for you. You know, and you're gonna sit back and you're gonna be wondering like, wow, why did I do this? It's all it's ever gonna turn into. Why did I do this to myself? I don't know. I never, I knew I shouldn't have did it. Pfft, I don't know, I'm because you're not listening to your intuition. And I'm gonna keep saying that to everybody. I still do it sometimes myself, y'all. And because I'm teaching you guys about that, you know, it's harder for me, it's harder on me. It's harder on me when I don't do things and listen to my own intuition, it's a lot harder on me. So uh, I think that saying goes for, for to those who have many things, much is required. Many things are required. And 
the plethora of wisdom that I'm trying to give to everybody else. When I don't follow my own words, those words jump back and bite me worse than they bite you or just the same as they bite you, you know. So, look, guys, that's my video. I wanted to just come in here and kick it with you um, for a little bit and just give you an encouraging word today. It's still all about self-love. Man, it's, listen, no such thing as make up sex with a narc. Kill it. Kill it. Do without. Trust and believe. It's much better out there for you. Also, right now, I'm also doing the No Narc Challenge. Doing a No Narc Challenge. It's a 30-day challenge. 30-day No Narc Challenge. Hashtag 30-day No Narc Challenge. All right? Uh, for all my new subscribers, I want to say thank you. I appreciate you. For everybody who has been in the family, in the fold, and have helped me create this family, I'd like to say thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. And let's keep continuing to win and take ourselves to another place as we are doing. All right. Thank you. I'll talk to you guys soon.